boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. Lynn Lapid, The Outsider. The Outsider is a very, very easy song, only four very common chords. And yeah, let's start right away to play that one. We need a set of capo here on the fourth fret. And let's go over the chords. We have G, so that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and the third E. Next chord will be D, so that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. A minor next, so open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And finally, C. So, third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. All right, so we will look at the strumming pattern right away. G is the first chord, so let's grab a G together, and one strumming round will sound like this. And that's it. And that will be down, clap, down, down, clap. That's it. So down, clap, down, down, clap. Down, clap, down, down, clap. And yeah, I don't know if you noticed that when I play the intro here for this tutorial. I showed you two chord progression rounds. One round with clap on all strings. And the second round I use clap only on the E string here, bass string. And the reason for that is you can go either way. If you choose to play the E string with the clap on that one, which is uh, absolutely um, perfect as well, it's, uh, it's okay to do that. And uh, the difference here is that the other strings will ring out more, so that is uh, just a matter of taste how I want to do the claps. So claps on all strings or just hit this E string. Great both ways. So that is how it's done. Let's go over the chords and the progression here. We have the first verse and the chord progression will be G, one strumming round, G, one strumming round, A minor one, and C, one. So one strumming round per chord. And that chord progression, G, D, A minor, C, you will play that for two rounds. So let's go over two rounds. show that both ways here are doing the claps and that is the first verse the pre-chorus will be played um, with the same chords same chord progression uh, almost it's G sorry G D and A minor only okay and you will play them with only one down per chord so in the like this That is the pre-chorus one. Then comes the chorus and the lyrics see it still when I close my eyes. Um, so the chords there will be again G, D, A minor and C. You're using the strumming and you do that for two rounds. So you're gonna play that in the same way as to play the verse. So nothing changes there. And that is the chorus. Now pretty much Almost everything repeats itself. The second verse will be played in the same way as the first verse. And um, then comes the second pre-chorus, played in the same way as the first one. We just looked at that together. And second chorus played in the same way as the first chorus. After the second chorus comes a bridge part about 1 minute and 57 seconds into the song. In the lyrics is the joke on me. So here, the chord progression changes a little bit. 
it will be from D to A minor to C and to G. That chord progression, D, A minor, C, G, we'll play that for two rounds and you will use the strumming. So strumming for two rounds of that chord progression and that will be the bridge. Then we'll have just a final part left here and that is the final chorus. Okay, so it will be played with the same chords as, we'll, as we learned from the other courses. And the only difference here is the first round will be played with only one down per chord. And the next two rounds, because this is a total of three rounds, the next two rounds will be played with the strumming. Okay, so total of three rounds, one down for the first round and strumming for the next two rounds, rounds two and three. And it will end with an outro part that fades out with one down of the following chords G, D, A minor, and C. That will cover Lynn Lapid's The Outsider. I hope you enjoy this little short tutorial here on this great song. So if you did, please uh, let me know, thumb up, and see you soon. And don't forget, guys. Play tuned.